Hasty generalization is a logical fallacy where conclusions are drawn from insufficient or biased evidence. In everyday discussions and media, arguments often arise where broad statements are made based on a handful of examples. This could lead to stereotypes or flawed conclusions that don't accurately reflect reality. The structure of a hasty generalization argument is as follows. Person A observes a limited number of instances or a single case, often atypical, then Person A makes a broad, sweeping conclusion based on this limited observation. This type of reasoning is problematic because the sample size is too small or unrepresentative of the whole, leading to inaccurate or misleading conclusions. Let's examine a common example. Person A watches a news report featuring several teenagers involved in vandalism and concludes, teenagers today have no respect for property. Here. Person A makes a sweeping generalization about all teenagers based on a limited and possibly sensationalized sample from news reports. Consider these more realistic scenarios. After two new hires from a particular university struggle to meet deadlines, a manager states, graduates from that university are not cut out for high pressure jobs. This is a hasty generalization, basing a broad judgment about all graduates on the performance of just two individuals. Or how about when a person goes on a date with someone who talks a lot about themselves and later tells a friend, people who use online dating apps are so self-centered. This conclusion is hastily generalized from a single experience. Effective strategies to counter this fallacy include, firstly, encourage gathering more examples or broader evidence before forming conclusions. Secondly, analyze whether the observed cases are truly representative of the entire group. And lastly, Point out the insufficiency of the evidence used to make the generalization. It's important to understand when a generalization is mistakenly labeled as hasty. Here are several scenarios where this might occur. Firstly, sometimes generalizations are made based on statistically significant data, even if the data set is not exhaustive. For example, a study finds that 80% of users find an app interface intuitive after testing with a statistically valid sample size claiming that most users find the app intuitive is not a hasty generalization, but a valid inference from the data. Secondly, predictions based on models using historical data are not necessarily hasty if they are based on proven algorithms and relevant variables. For example, saying it tends to rain here in April based on years of meteorological data, even if this April has been dry so far, is not hasty, but a reasoned prediction from historical trends. Thirdly, when distinctions within a category are well documented and based on clear criteria, generalizations about the category can be accurate and not hasty. For example, general advice to say smoking is harmful to health is based on extensive research across demographics and is not a hasty generalization despite individual variations in health impact. And lastly, statements based on everyday observations or widely accepted facts are not necessarily hasty. For example, Claiming traffic is usually heavier during rush hour is based on common observation and not hastily generalized, assuming typical urban settings. Overall, avoiding hasty generalizations can help prevent stereotypes and promote more accurate and fair assessments in our judgments by demanding more comprehensive evidence and questioning the representativeness of the samples we can foster more logical and inclusive discussions.